If you frequently work with Excel tables, you know how tedious it can be to manually add a new row every time you need to enter new data. Fortunately, there is a way to streamline this process and make it automatic. Hello there, welcome to Excel TV where you can learn Excel and Excel VB related problems. This is every now and then today we will learn how to add new row automatically in an Excel table. I'll show you several ways to do this work. So now let's get into the video. Here we're using Microsoft Excel 365. The first method I'm going to show you is Excel options. Let's start with an example dataset that has been prepared as a table. Using the weight by height square ratios form column D and C, I determined each person's body mass index in column E. To access the Excel options, click the File tab and then choose Options. Go to Proofing tab, choose the Autocorrect Settings option, choose Auto Format as you type in the Autocorrect box. Next, check mark the boxes next to Include new rows, add columns in table, and fill formula in tables to generate calculated columns. Click OK to close the Excel options. Return to the table and begin entering a new row there. As soon as you are done, you'll see that a new row with the formula column filled instantly appended to the end of the table. The solution indicates only functions in a situation where you must continually adding new rows to a table's end. Due to the absence of data in the other columns, the, the formula column in the newly inserted rows displayed zero division error. Formula cell will show a value once you have entered a value for each of the cells. The second way is Excel shortcuts. If you need to add a row between two previously existing rows, you can do the same work with Excel shortcuts. The data set we are using is the same. There are two shortcuts to add a new row to a table. Suppose we want a row between rows 9 and 10. Choose the cell above which the new row should be inserted. So I just select B10. Press Ctrl Shift equal sign. The formula has been duplicated in a new row as you can see. You can use a different shortcut. To add a new row, choose a cell above the one you already have. In my case, I'm selecting cell B10. On your keyboard, press Alt I, then press R. Like above, a new row will be inserted. Now, the third method, which is Quick Access Toolbar. We can do the same thing using the Quick Access Toolbar. Let's see how to do this. Choose the new row or a cell within a row in the table where you wish to insert a new row. I have chosen cell B10. Press Alt key from your keyboard. All the shortcuts will appear. As a result, you may use the first access toolbar. In order to enter the Home tab, press H, then I to go to Insert. Press A to add a table row above. After that, that's it. The last method I'm going to use is Excel VBA. VBA may be used to quickly create additional rows. Remember that the Developer tab on your ribbon must be active. If you don't have the Developer tab, just right-click on the ribbon, customize the ribbon, checkmark the Developer tab, and OK. Now go to Developer tab, click on Visual Basic to open the editor, choose Module from the Insert menu, enter the following code, within the module. Save the file by pressing Ctrl S. While using VBA, you have to save the Excel file with the extension of Excel SF. Now choose the macros in the Developer tab. Go to the Option tab in the Macros window. You can also run the macros through there. 
there will be a macro options window. Here you may choose a shortcut key to make it possible to reuse the code. I'm using Control Shift M. You may use your preferred shortcut in place of Shift M. Choose a cell ahead of the row where you wish to put one after that. Type the key you have selected for the shortcut. My shortcut is Control Shift M. The row will be followed by another row. You may now use the shortcut wherever you want and as often as you like. The formula that are present in the columns will also be duplicated. The BV code adds a row following the cell or rows you have chosen if you utilize it. You may just run the code from the macros window without having to assign keys. Try these methods which will save you time and effort in the long run. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at exaltemy.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.